Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheyenne and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this Beetle Juice inspired eyeshadow look. We're going to be starting off with primer and we're going to be using the Stila One Step Color Correcting Primer and applying that all over the face. Next we're going to be using Morphe's Brow Gel Pot and I absolutely love this stuff. I'm going in with an angled brush and creating the outline of my brow shape and then filling it in and brushing the excess product out with the spoolie on the other end of the brush. Next, let's prep our lids. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and I'm just applying that to the top of my lids and buffing it out with a beauty blender. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is going to be Makeup Revolution, the Birds of Paradise, and this is full of neon colors and I love this palette. And I'm starting off with this really pretty purplish pink shade and I'm creating a halo effect. So I'm going to the inner corner of my eyes and the outer corner and the crease. Next I'm going in with a darker purple just to deepen it up. And then I'm going to be going in with a bright neon pink to bring back some of that vibrance to the crease and the cat eye. Next, I'm just going to be blending out those shades just so I don't have a harsh, crazy line right underneath my brows. And after that, I'm going to be applying this green shade, Jungle, to the top of my lid. I really wish they had a true neon green for this shadow palette. I think that really would have made this palette perfect. Next, I'm going to be going in with my foundation now that my eyeshadow is done. I'm using Urban Decay's shade 2.5 in the all nighter foundation this is such a great full coverage foundation and i want to say use maybe a pump or two at a time and then i'm going to be setting my face to set i'm using the essence brighten up and i'm actually really surprised about how much i love this setting powder next let's start with the eyeliner and we are using the NYX Jumbo Eyeliner Pencils. I love these. They come in all different shades. I have black and I do have white as well. And I'm just going in with my waterline and then the top waterline as well. And I actually ended up using my bullet blending brush to kind of buff out and smudge the bottom waterline. I'm going to be going in with some NYX Vinyl Black Liquid Liner and I'm working my inner corner to the outer corner of my eye to create the basic straight liner and then I'm going to be creating a winged liner by creating the basic shape on the outer corner of my eyes and then filling in the outline. I'm also going to create a little point at the inner corner of my eye and connecting it to my waterline. I never wear my eyeliner this way. Maybe I should. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like the classic wing liner or if you think this look is something I should wear more often. Next, I'm going in with the Tarte Tardius Contour Power Powder. Sorry, that was a mouthful. The Tarte Tardiest Glow Contour Kit. Jesus, that is a horrible name to name a palette just because it is so difficult to say when recording. But I do love this contour palette, you guys. And I just went in and I contoured my cheekbones, contoured my nose. And my baby is saying hello to all of you guys. I can't seem to record without him wanting to add his inputs in today. And just a little baby update. He is now four months old and teething like crazy. So wish me luck, you guys. Next, we're gonna be going on with lipstick and I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Black Lipstick. This is one of my favorite ones to use. And this is the final look, you guys. So definitely hit me up in the comments below. Let me know if you would rock this. I actually ended up liking this in the long run in the beginning. I absolutely hated it, but trust the process, you guys. All right, come back next week for another video. And thank you so much for watching.